This is Jordan's vision. Pull up a seat and kick up your feet. Welcome, 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 guys. How we doing? Uh, we're going to watch a funny movie today. How about that? Uh, it's been a while since we watched uh, a movie that was truly funny. Uh, so uh, I put in a poll. Uh, I decided I was kind of in the mood for a Mel Brooks comedy. Uh, so, you know, I'd, I'd seen Spaceballs. I'd seen Robin Hood Men in Tights. I'd seen both versions of the producers. So, so I picked uh, four other Mel Brooks movies that I hadn't seen, uh, put them in a poll, and the movie that won was Blazing Saddles. So that is what we're going to watch tonight. Blazing Saddles is, of course, uh, directed by, uh, co-written by, and starring Mel Brooks. I say co-written because uh, he didn't write the whole script for this one. Uh, there's actually five credit screenwriters. Uh, Mel Brooks, uh, Andrew Bergman, uh, Norman Steinberg, Alan Uger, and uh, this one may be a little more familiar. Richard Pryor uh, had a hand in writing this movie as well, although I'm not sure if he's in it. He's not in the top build cast anyway. Uh, so it's basically a Wild West spoof. Uh, the premise is that uh, a black man is named Sheriff, so... So uh, Cleavon Little uh, plays the sheriff, uh, Gene Wilder is also in it, Madeline Kahn's in it, uh, Harvey Gorman, Mel Brooks as I mentioned. So yeah, a pretty good cast for 1974. Uh, uh, it was nominated for uh, three Academy Awards. I, I looked uh, just to see because I know uh, Mel Brooks got an Oscar for the producers. I wanted to see if uh, you know this writing team was nominated uh, as well. It was not, uh, but uh, Madeline Kahn was nominated for Best Supporting Actress. Uh, uh, the song, the title song, Blazing Saddles, was nominated for Best Original Song and it was also... Uh, got a nomination for film editing. Uh, did not win anything. Uh, of course, that was the year that Godfather 2 came out too. So yeah, uh, had that going against it and like Towering Inferno, movies like that. So uh, it's, uh, I'm sure it's uh, a funny movie nonetheless. Uh, you know, it is 1974, which was 50 years ago. And it's mind blowing in itself that, you know, 1974 is 50 years ago. You know, you think of it as like 30 years ago still. But uh, getting back to the original thought, you know, because it was 50 years ago, uh, there's probably some comedy in this movie that would not fly today. Uh, but, uh, you know, so we'll take it with a grain of salt. Uh, and, uh, you know, without further ado, it's time to watch Blazing Saddles. Here we go. Before I get started, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And don't forget, reacting to art is sharing art. Channels like these benefit everyone from the viewers all the way up to the original creators themselves. Also, a reminder, spoilers are likely. So if you haven't seen this movie yet and would like to, please feel free to click off and take care of that first. I'll be here when you get back. But for those of you who are sticking with me, pull up a seat, kick up your feet. It's time to watch Blazing Saddles. Here we go. The old WB logo. Well, oh, the title's all westerny. He rode a blazing saddle. We're gonna do the song right off the bat here. His job to offer battle. Yeah, Slim Pickens, he was a big uh, western actor too. The West and fear Don Deloise is in this too. Yeah. Credit it for being a real sounding song. Mel Brooks did write the song, but it actually sounds like a song that could be in a real western. Building the railroad. They look like they're having fun. The way you lollygagging around here with them picks and them shovels, you think it was a That's lollygagging? Can't be more than 114. I know, right? Big difference. Come on, boys. Where's your spirit? I don't hear no singing. When you were slaves, you sang like birds. Yeah, it was that time in history, too. I get no kick from champagne. Oh, it's I get a kick out of you. Doesn't thrill me at all. I don't know much about so Cleavon Little. I don't know if this is a real voice. I get a belt out of you. A belt out of you. Hold it, what the hell is that shit? I was gonna say, a song. that's not a song. Swing low, sweet ah, he wants one of those songs. Camp Town racetrack five miles long, all the dude all day. Who looks like an idiot now? <laughs> I had you people try to get a little track lead, not to jump around like a bunch of Kansas City. Tell us how you really feel. Okay, I'll send down a team of horses to check out the ground. Horses? Why we can't afford to lose no horses, you dummy? Yeah, you want a bunch of dead horses? You... On, on second thought, the second choice isn't much better. Well, to tell a family secret, my grandmother was a Dutch. <laughs> Makes a difference, eh? I knew your grandma was Dutch. <laughs> <laughs> Little known fact. Oh, the town ladies sing this song. Now they're singing it. What? What's it? Oh, did they find it? 
Or is the world yeah, they found it. Let me ask you something. Mm. What is it that's not exactly water, mm -hmm. and it ain't exactly Earth? Quicksand? Quicksand! <laughs> Reach in and pull my legs out, then pull my arms out with my face. Well, that's how they rescued from quicksand. Oh, they're rescuing that thing. Yep, that's what he's thinking of. We're gonna die, Buck. They're gonna leave us here to die. Take it easy, Charlie. My foot's on the rail. Oh, okay. That looks like the way we have to go from here. Yes, Nice, they got out. A little dirty, but... Put her to some good use. <laughs> Dig out the quicksand? Ah, uh -uh, baby. Bob, don't do that. I have to. Send oh, what's he doing? Main... Tell him what I said. Ow! <laughs> main office, tell them I said ow. Important message. They need to know that he right said ow. Here, Mr. Lamar is where we run into the quicksand. Quicksand, quicksand, splendid. The bandage on his head. My mind is aglow with whirling transient nodes of thought, careening through a cosmic vapor of invention. Ditto. <laughs> ditto, you provincial putz. What's wrong with ditto? What the oh. hell was that? Nerd! Boris, we can't hear ourselves think. Yeah, that's not gonna work. And it's, it's utter chaos down here. I'll try to no. keep it quiet as possible. But as yeah. you can see, busy season. This one is a doozy. Yes, when that railroad goes through Rock Ridge, that land will be worth millions. Every town needs transportation, right? Haley versus United States. Haley seven, United States nothing. That was some baseball game. There is one thing that stands between me and that property. The rightful owners. The that little detail. I know how we can run everybody out of Rock Ridge. How? We'll kill the firstborn male child in every household. Biblical. Too Jewish. Oh, man. Ow! Oh, my tagot, you've been hurt. Oh, that uh, You're just noticing that now? To hang him up by his neck until he was dead. Got him locked up downstairs. Consider it done. Boris! Oh. Mm -hmm. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that one's not going to work either. When can you work him in? I couldn't possibly sneak him in until Monday, sir. I'm book solid. Monday. Splendid. Ah, oh, watch your head, bro. Why, we'll make Rock Ridge think it's a chicken that got caught in a tractor's nuts. <laughs> <laughs> That's some visual. That's all right. Shh, it's all right, Taggart. Just a man and a horse being hung out there. Do, Nothing to see here. Do, 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 do. A little lullaby music. There was no hint of misery. One flavor. They let the cows in the bars? You never see that now. What, Johnson? Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> That's a little dangerous. Whoa. Oh, the bullet hole through the hat cliche. Oh, a lot of physical humor so far. Well, that's the end of this suit. Oh, worried about the suit? Oh no! Is he shaving his whole body in there? Never seen such cruelty. Ooh. Mel Brooks loves to break the fourth wall. They're singing this song in church. How did I know that would be the rhyme? <laughs> So we're singing in church. Oh yeah. Back hell, I was born here, and I was raised here, and that coming, I'm gonna die here. I can see that happening. Is this the town drunk? I'm particularly glad that these lovely children were here today to hear that speech. Not only was it authentic oh, yeah. frontier gibberish, <laughs> it expressed fought drought, fought locusts, fought dicks. Remember when Richard Dix came in here and tried yeah, to take yeah. over this town? Oh, yeah? Well, we didn't give up then. So what happened to this Dix fella? Olson Johnson is right. What kind of people are we anyhow? I say we stay and fight it out. Let's do it. 
Dr. Samuel Johnson's right about... Is everyone Johnson in this town? Howard Johnson is right. Right. Yeah. Thank you, man. Van Johnson? We're gonna stay. <laughs> Why don't we wire the governor to send us a sheriff? Why should we get our own men killed? Go to the sheriff's store. I shall now read from the books of Matthew, Mark, Luke... Luke. And Duck. And, oh no. There goes your church. Governor. 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 May I disturb you for a moment, sir? Yeah, right, oh. Yes, right. if you will... There's Mel. Man, what'll it cost? Uh, a box yep. of these. Are you crazy? Wow. They'll never go for it. And then again, they might. These things are defective. He has no idea. Yeah. Right as usual, sir. <laughs> this is the bill that will convert the state hospital for the insane into the William J. Lepetamine Memorial Gambling Casino for the insane. Gentlemen, this, this bill. Oh, sounds good to me. Treatment of the insane gambler. Yes, bravo. Beautiful. Give thank him a new you, problem. Heady, thank you. It's not Hedy, it's Headley. Headley Lamar. The hell are you worried about? This is 1874. You'll be able to sue her. <laughs> oh, jeez. That way he had the name first, right? Yes. Help me in with this. Help me in yes. with this. Think of your secretary. Ah. Uh, uh, is he that uncoordinated? Anything else? Do something about this immediately. Harumph. 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 I didn't get a harumph out of that guy. We'll, we'll save them, but we gotta get a harumph first. Meeting is adjourned. Oh, I am yep. sorry, sir. I didn't mean to overstep my bounds. You say that. What? Meeting <laughs> is adjourned. It is? No, you say that, Governor. It is. Oh, he has no clue. And one for Miss Stein, my beloved secretary. Play with these boys in lure of other things. I love government meetings, don't you? If I could find a sheriff who so offends the citizens of Rock Ridge that his very appearance would drive them out of town. Oh, I get it now. Why am I asking you? I don't know. Why are you asking me? Everyone is equal in my eye. Oh, so he's going to save him from hanging and make him the sheriff. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, gotta get that out of your mouth before you laugh. Oh, private time. Yes? <laughs> Official business, sir. Is it important? It's very Sort of? Governor, as per your instructions, I'd like you to meet the new sheriff of Rock Ridge. I'd be delighted. Wow! I've gotta talk oh. to you. Come here. Have you gone for oh. sir? Can't you see that that man is a nigga? Oh, oh, wrong guy. <laughs> wrong person, forgive me. No offense intended. <laughs> yeah. Did you that? I said that. Wonderful. Yes, the first <laughs> man ever. Washington. Jefferson. Lincoln. Lieutenant Oh. It'll never work. They'll kill him dead one day. One day is all we'll need to secure your name in the annals of Western It's all that matters to these guys. Get for, dare I say. Dare, dare. The presidency. Oh. Oh. Hail to the chief. Don't kill too many brain cells before you make him president. Our forefathers brought forth on this. Neil, are you coming back? In a moment, <laughs> dear. Uh, gentlemen, you must Meet our first lady. Over. Will you make all the arrangements? I will make all the arrangements. Especially the funeral. <laughs> oh, jeez. Good, Good luck. Oh, back to work. The Gucci bag. I could get used to this. Oh, that's, uh... Oh, it's Count Basie. <laughs> a little bit of modern jazz. Just in the middle of the Wild West here. I noon? I better rehearse my speech. Do they know who it is yet? Hey, Gabby, can you see him yet? No? Oh, yep. Yeah. Oh. Oh, what's he gonna say? What did he say? The sheriff is near. Oh, it's not what he said. <laughs> Thank heavens for those church bells. He's just sitting there smiling. <laughs> I want my sign back. I'm the sheriff. Excuse me while I whip this out. <laughs> oh no. That could have been many things. As your spiritual leader, I implore you to pay heed to this good book and what it has to say. Yeah, I knew that was coming. Hold it. Oh, he's doing it to himself. He's not bluffing. Listen to him, man. He's just crazy enough to do it. He's desperate. Do what he say. Do what he say. 
He's Bugs Bunnying them. Okay. Okay. Isn't anybody gonna help that poor man? Help him how exactly? You are so talented. Oh wow. So dumb. <laughs> Both true. Yep. Everyone's named Johnson. Now everyone be quiet. They're already quiet. Expressing our feelings about the new sheriff. Uh, this ought to be good, or not. I'm not used to public speaking. You're a school marm. Our extreme displeasure with your choice of sheriff. Today, this would be a viral TikTok. Well, nothing to see here, just a bunch of cows. Hi. Are we awake? Uh, maybe? I think I'd better straighten myself out. Well. Need any help? He needs help. Ah. Uh, that would take me forever, too. Well. Still a bit hungover? Hey, maybe you yeah, I've still got it. Work. No, thanks. Food makes me sick. <laughs> Maybe drinking that without food makes you sick. Well, my name is Jim, but most people call me... Jim. <laughs> yeah. Since you are my guest, and I am your host, what are your pleasures? What do you like to do? It's a friendly jail. I play chess. Screw. <laughs> well, let's yep. play chess. N not the other one. Checkmate. Well, you devious son of a bitch. Huh? Happy days. Right out of the bottle. Man, why you do that to yourself? <laughs> oh, you don't really want to know that. He wants to live in the drunk tank. I used to be called the Waco Kid. Hmm. The Waco Kid. He had the fastest hands in the West. Is he a wanted criminal or something? In the world. Yeah, I guess the West isn't everything. <laughs> Look at that. Ah. Uh, little arthritis. I shoot with this hand. Ah, oh, no. Oh, that's even worse. See that, King? Yeah. Put your hands on both sides of it. When okay. I say go, you try to grab it first. Man, that's no contest. You a mile away. Yeah. Oh, this is gonna be good. Go. Oh, man. Oh, where is it? You looking for this? Well, I'll be. I must have killed more men than Cecil B. DeMille. So is that why he's in jail? Reach for it, mister. Uh-oh. With a six-year-old kid. He just wanted well, him to reach for something. Little bastard shot me in the ass. Oh, no. My folks and I were part of this long wagon train. Okay. A little bit of backstory here. Well, not exactly part of it. Oh, yeah, there they are. We was bringing up to rear. When Not even the rear, that's like more off to the side. The white folks didn't let us travel in their circle, so we made our own. <laughs> yeah, that's a real productive circle there. Something's gonna go down. I think that's Mel Brooks again. No, no, Zeitmisch mit Sugar. He's speaking Yiddish. Thank you. Our big is in. Take off. Oh, let them go. Impressed? <laughs> Always like to keep my audience riveted. Oh, just gotta sleep it off again. <laughs> on barbed wire. Be more productive to knock on the sign. Maybe a little less dangerous, too. Oh. Well, this is escalating. It's the beans. And people say fart jokes aren't funny. I understand there's a new sheriff in town. Who wants to kill him? <laughs> Can't all kill him. We give him to Mongo. Okay. Wow. It's like he's an animal. How'd you like to mutilate that new sheriff? <laughs> oh, man. Have a cigar. <laughs> oh, he's eating it. <laughs> Mongo just got a new name, Smokey. Is that a joint? 
<laughs> I think it is. Pass it around. You can't win these people over no matter what you do. They're just not going to accept you. He's going to go out instead? <laughs> I'm glad those uh, fingers ain't loaded. Maybe they are. Good morning, ma'am. And isn't it a lovely morning? Up yours. Just keeps a smile on his face. Morons. Exactly. What the hell is that? Oh. Oh, there he is. I take it Mongo's been there before. Louis Pasteur has devised a new vaccine that will obliterate anthrax once and for all. I don't think Pasteur did that one. Hey, you can't park that animal over there. Oh, the horse didn't make the law. Sure. Mongo's back. He's breaking up the whole town. You've got to help us, please. Who is this Mongo anyway? Well, Mongo ain't exactly a who. He's more of a what. Oh, well, that's what they treat him like. The fool's going to... I mean, the sheriff's going to do it! <laughs> oh, ye of little faith. Don't do that. If you shoot him, you'll just make him mad. Or kill him. That is one strong idiot. Candy Graham. Sign, please. All right. I love the Looney Tunes. Mungo like candy. I mean, I, whoa. Oh, I thought it was getting candy. I thought sure that Mongo would just mash him up in the little bitty sheriff meatballs. Didn't account for the sheriff having a brain. A thought cascading into a waterfall of creative alternatives. Cow darn it, Mr. Lamar. You use your tongue prettier than a twenty-dollar whore. <laughs> oh man. That's it. Of course. It's got a rubber ducky. Work, the beast has failed, and when the beast fails, it's time to call in beauty. Okay. She's never failed me before. She'll turn him into jelly. She'll Is it the governor's girlfriend? Need my froggy. Where's my oh. froggy? Oh, I didn't see it. One. Oh no, you lost your froggy. Damn your eyes! Look for it. <laughs> oh, just reach right in. Oh, he was there the whole time. Daddy loves Froggy. Froggy love Daddy? Aww. Uh, he was nothing. The bitch was inventing the candy gram. Oh, my jeez. probably won't give me credit for it. Oh, he invented it. Oh, hi. Sorry about the up yours. I hope this apple pile in some small way say thank you for your ingenuity and courage in defeating that horrible mongol. Yeah. Now they're all buddy buddy. Just got a wily e. coyote him a bit. Oh, of still there. You had the good taste not to mention that I spoke to you. Ah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Another twenty five years to be able to shake their hands in broad daylight. Probably the best sheriff they've had, but no one's gonna give him credit. Von Stupp is opening tonight. I think this is who Madeline Kahn plays. I just wonder when she'd show up. There she is. Yeah, a little cabaret reference. For you, my dear. Oh, how ordinary. Probably cost a few hundred dollars, you know, by today's standards. I want you to seduce and abandon the sheriff of Rock Ridge. Do you think you can uh, do it? A little bit of a setup. Bubbleberry and bombshell herself. Let's hear it for Lily Von Stuck. All right. Let's see what this girl's got. Here I stand, the goddess of desire. Set men on fire. I have this power. Imagine if Marilyn Monroe talked like Elmer Fudd. I'm not a rabbit. Wabbit. I need some rest. Some west in the west. Tired of love uninspired. Let's face it, I'm tired. Wonder if she's tired. I've been with thousands of men. Thousands? I don't even think there's thousands of men in this town. <laughs> I was wondering if that was coming. No pun intended. Screw the song, I just want to bitch now. Are you in show business? 
Oh, yeah, you tell him. Hello, handsome. Is that a 10 gallon hat? Or are you just enjoying the show? A little from column A, a little from column B. Uh oh. This must happen every day. Oh. Okay, where did this come from? <laughs> oh, she's so tired, she's napping in the middle of the song. I'm so, let's face it, everything below the waist is kaput. Oh, don't tell him that. But leave. What do you think they're here for? <laughs> Not too tired to bow, okay. Oh. What do we got? But I must see you alone in my dressing room right after the show. Here it comes. Single rose. Minor shotzi. A red rose. How she rejected the bouquet, but she likes this. Why don't you uh, loosen your bullets? Mm -hmm. Is that what they're calling it now? I feel refreshed. Okay. Isn't it bright in here? It's brighter now. <laughs> oh. Pardon me, I'll be back in a moment. God damn it. How's it going? It's like wet sauerkraut in my hands. By morning he will be my slave. Splendid. Oh no. <laughs> Where are you? Oh, oh yes. Let me Not the best time to interrupt there. Oh. Me, Can you find him? True what they say about the way you people are gifted. Oh, it's true. I'm going to guess someone else is there now. Oh, uh, oh, oh. Baby, please. I am not from Havana. Excuse me, honey. Besides, I'm late for work. Bye. Got some sheriffing. No, no, you mustn't go. I, I need you. I never met nobody like you. I can't live without you. The heft gemacht my entire leben. If I stay here, I won't be a sheriff. Oh, what a nice guy. Oh. <laughs> Hard day at work, right? Oh. Now who's tired? Mm, bad news. I got a writ here for Mongo's release signed by Hedley Lamar himself. Why are they releasing him? Why would a dude like Hedley Lamar care about Mongo? Good question. Snitching groovers can wipe you out. Maybe she drugged him. Wake up time! Uh... Yeah. Just sheds the chains hey, like they're nothing. Got a little Stockholm Syndrome? Mongo, stay with Sheriff Bart. Sheriff First Man. Have a whip, Mongo. Mongo impressed. I think Mongo has taken a little fancy to you. Just a little? Mongo, maybe you know. Why is a high roller like Hedley Lamar interested in Rock Ridge? Don't know. Got to do with where Choo Choo go. Yeah, the train. Uh, Mongo only pawn in game <laughs> of life. Aren't we all, Mongo? I think this might be a good time to mosey out where they're building on the railroad and maybe do a little snooping. Get some sheriffing done. All right, back where we started. Oh. Old friends reuniting. My buddy's the sheriff now. He'll pardon me. You are addressing the duly appointed sheriff of Rock Ridge. Rock Ridge? Hey, the railroad's going through there. Now everyone notices. Everyone keeps greeting him, there's gonna be no railroad. Now what the hell do you think you're doing with that ten star? Sheriffing? On a count of three. I wouldn't do that if I were you. Oh, sounds like a challenge, eh, Jim? One, two, three. Oh, wow. Didn't even look like he did anything. How about a little applause for the Waco Kid? <laughs> for these guys, applause is like shooting guns in the air. Instead of the people leaving, they're staying in droves. Why don't you admit it? He's too much of a man for you, I know. You're gonna need an army to beat him. Yeah, she figured it out. Fur-blungeon, fur-cocked. 
Oh, new song. Oh. Why did she said army? Of course. And oh, is that what he's gonna do? Muckers, buggerers, bushwhackers, horns. Thought he said muggles for a second. Bull dykes, train robbers, bank robbers, ass kickers, shit kickers, and Methodists. <laughs> oh man. Could you repeat that, sir? Oh, uh, can I remember them all? Read this. Oh, villains. Criminal record required. Just give me 24 hours to come up with a brilliant idea to save our town. So Smack I that Lamar guy in the head. You do it for Randolph Scott. Randolph Scott. <laughs> it's like he's their god. Oh no, 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 no. no. Qualifications. Rape, murder, awesome and rape. You said rape, rape twice. twice. I like rape. Oh. <laughs> Charming. That's how you know someone's messed up. Ma'am, wait a moment. What have you got in your mouth? Tobacco? Gum. Oh. Oh, gum. Gum online, eh? I hope you brought enough for everybody. Oh, what a monster. There's our ticket. Yeah, have a nice day on the back. Hey, where are the white women at? Oh, using him as bait. Man, that was pretty. I like that. So there's a bunch of naked clansmen walking around now. We don't need no stinking budget. Oh, no. <laughs> Stampeding cattle. That's not much of a crime. Through the Vatican? Kinky. Oh, maybe. Right here. How many times have I told you to wash up after weekly cross burning? <laughs> See, it's coming off. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Jesse Owens. Seize them! Catch them! Catch Good impression. <laughs> All right, folks. I know All right, Sheriff. Confused, wondering what you're doing out in the middle of the prairie in the middle of the night. You, you bet your ass. Now, I would be, too. We're going to build on this site an exact replica of the town of Rock Ridge. Every okay. Every, right down to the orange roof on Howard Johnson's outhouse. Ah, so it's fake. They'll actually be destroying the fake Rock Ridge, but they'll think that it's the real Rock Ridge, but we'll know. Little redundant explaining, but yeah. Railroad workers. Well, they've agreed to help us make our dream come true. And all they ask in return is a little plot of land they can call their own the homestead. Now, what do you say? We'll give some land to the... But we don't want the Irish. Not the Irish. Oh, prairie shit. Everybody. <laughs> Let the Irish in, we're all good. Do we have the strength to carry on this mighty task in one night? Or are we just jerking off? Little from column A, little from column B. Now let's see what we have done. Alright, does it look good? They look happy with it. Does it actually look like a real town? I'm gonna guess there's gonna be like one little mistake. Whilst I will be risking an almost certain Academy Award nomination for Best Supporting Actor. <laughs> yeah, right not this time. I, 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 your name, your name, your name. <laughs> pledge allegiance, pledge allegiance to Hedley Lamar, to Hedley Lamar, that's Hedley! <laughs> Everyone gets his name wrong. Now go to that voodoo. That you do so well. Love it. We are in trouble. Yep, we forgot one little detail. Oh, Nothing what they forget? Reason. There's no people. Hey, no, 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 don't panic. Don't panic. Oh. We just made a perfect copy of Rock Ridge. Now, all we got to do is make perfect copies of ourselves. Oh, they got to copy themselves now? Now, you men start working on the dummies. Jim and Mongo, come with me. I got an idea that'll slow them down to a crawl. All right, let's go. Okay, how are they going to make this work? Yeah, that's nice. That's nice. <laughs> got a nice new partner in Mongo here. Oh. Uh... Has anybody got a dime? Oh, jeez. Yeah. Oh, 
somebody's got to go back and get a shitload of dimes. Uh, uh, not one person has a dime. And they can just walk around the thing, too. We ain't ever gonna get the rock ridge. Come on, move him, move him through. God damn. Some of the horses don't want to go. Look at this. They're buying it. Are they gonna buy the people? Oh, Not even geez. paying the people any mind. Jim, baby? You think you could squeeze off a little shot from here and set off the dynamite down there? Hmm. I'll give it a try. Oh, oh. They're defending themselves somehow. That one gun can work magic. The perfect decoy. <laughs> drunky being drunky. Oh, that'll do it. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, oh. Friendly fire. Oh, <laughs> she's here too. Oh. Heading over to the real town. Oh, nice. <laughs> I don't think that's much better. <laughs> Have you got it? Yes. Yeah, they're all gonna fall down now. Yeah, that's important. Oh, oh. Well, that'll ruin the movie. This is a closed set. Not anymore. <laughs> I'm working for Mel Brooks. Not in the face. Nice little fourth wall there. Uh, little water choreo now. What the hell is that? Ruining every production on the lot now. Video commissary, where some Hollywood stars come to eat. Keep in line. And he's not just breaking the fourth wall. He's like bulldozing it. What's even happening anymore? Had to get some cream in his face to blend in. Well. Drive me off this picture. Yeah. Screw this movie. Drive me to The Godfather. Pleasing Saddles. The premiere of the movie now. Uh, one, please. Uh, student? Are you kidding? Student. <laughs> Herman, I'm in Hedy Lamar's shoes. Hedley. She's in the actual Hedy Lamar shoes. Raising it. The cows are in here too. Okay, Lamar. Go be a gun. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, oh, oh. I'm unarmed. Sorry, I just remembered. I am armed. Oh, wow. Oh. How did he do such fantastic stunts? With such little feet. <laughs> well, what do you want to do now? Come on, let's see. Leave Lamar. Gee, I sure hope there's a happy ending. I love a happy ending. <laughs> Is that a happy ending? Good luck, Bart. And God bless you. Oh. Oh, Bart. Oh, uh, Mongo's going to miss him. Where are you headed, cowboy? Nowhere oh. special. Off to the next town. Always wanted to go there. Come, Come along. Is the same as the opening song again? Hmm. Screw the horse, I found a car. Just conveniently a road right there. And the end. All right, I'll see if there's anything post-credit. I don't know if post-credit was really a thing in 1974, but uh, I'll see if there is, and then we'll wrap this up. I think it's almost done anyway. Those are actually really short credits. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you guys for uh, tuning into my reaction to Blazing Saddles. Uh, the acting performances were incredible. I can see why Madeline Kahn was nominated. I can see why Harvey Corman, you know, thought he should be nominated. 
uh, yeah. Uh, and, you know, everyone was great. Cleveland Little was great. Uh, Gene Wilder, uh, you know, was great in his role as well. Uh, you know, the cast was the cast was pretty much perfect, you know, and Mel Brooks, you know, and the roles he played. Uh, the song the song was great as well. Uh, you know, the Blazing Saddle song that was nominated. Uh, it kind of made it feel like a real Western. And there was lots of moments where this movie did feel like a real Western. For parody, you know, the greatest thing about a parody is if you can kind of make it feel like the real thing for a little bit, you know, you're doing a great job. The movie was funny. I don't know if it was, you know, as ha-ha funny as some of Mel Brooks' other movies, like Spaceballs. I remember the first time I watched that, I was in hysterics. Almost didn't feel like a Mel Brooks movie at times. Like, it had some Mel Brooks elements, like, you know, the anachronisms, the, uh, you know, breaking of the fourth wall, the awareness of the characters that they're in a movie. Those are Mel Brooks things. Uh, but it kind of felt more like a Richard Pryor movie to me. Like, uh, even though Richard Pryor wasn't on screen, you know, I felt his presence. Like, you know, this is 1974, and in 1974, you were not far removed from, you know, blacks not being able to sit together on the bus, not being able to use the same fountains, not being able to use the same bathrooms. Uh, and just the decade previous uh, were the assassinations of Malcolm X and Martin Luther King, you know. At 1974, you know, a lot of the laws uh, that had held black people back were now gone. But a lot of the attitudes were still there, like, like attitudes toward black people and attitudes toward the N-word, which, you know, this movie did use quite a bit. It is kind of a Richard Pryor thing, you know, uh, he kind of tried to co-opt the word and, you know, uh, create his own new meaning for it, you know, in his stand-up act. If you look at Richard Pryor's catalog, three of his comedy albums had the N-word in the title. You know, he kind of encouraged his collaborators, white and black alike, uh, to use it as well. Uh, but he did end up regretting that. Like, uh, he mentioned, uh, it was the end of the 70s, he made a trip to Africa, Kenya, I believe. You know, he saw the people there, and he said, you know, these are really good, hardworking people. I don't want to refer to these people as that. He had kind of had an epiphany right there that, you know, he regretted his use of the word. I'll try to paraphrase kind of what he said, but it's like, in creating his new meaning for the word, uh, him, and not only him, but, you know, his audience, uh, white and black audience alike, kind of forgot what the original meaning of the word is and what the original purpose of the word was. And the original purpose was dehumanization. It was the white people of the day being like, uh, we don't want to think of black people as human, so we create this other word for them. You know, it m makes us not feel bad about what we're doing to them. And, you know, I just recently watched 12 Years a Slave on this channel, and a lot of the slave owners in that movie definitely subscribe to that. Even Benedict Cumberbatch, who played one of the, one of the nicer ones, uh, couldn't say, hey, you're a good man. He had to say, you're a good, you know. Of course, 12 Years a Slave used the language a lot as well, and it was uncomfortable, but it's not supposed to be comfortable. Like, it was an uncomfortable part of history. You want to preserve historical accuracy, you gotta show it as it was, you know? So, using the word in a historical drama like 12 Years a Slave is important, because, you know, if you just sub in another word, it doesn't it doesn't hit the same. But in a comedy like Blazing Saddles, when you're expecting to laugh, uh, it just kind of feels gratuitous, you know? I'm sure if this movie were made today, uh, it wouldn't have the language, for sure. That's kind of my two cents on that. Uh, like, some of the racial humor did feel a little bit uncomfortable, but uh, it was a funny movie. And again, not as funny as, you know, some of Mel Brooks' other stuff, but yeah, maybe I'm falling into the trap of comparing it to Mel Brooks' other stuff. I mean, this movie was not a purely Mel Brooks-written movie, so... I'll give it the benefit of the doubt. Maybe it, maybe it doesn't hit the same because, you know, I'm watching it 50 years after it was made. You know, maybe some of uh, what made it great back then was kind of lost on me a little bit, but it was a funny movie. I just felt some of the racial language was unnecessary, and I think maybe some of the people who were involved in the film would agree now. But thank you guys for tuning in to my reaction to Blazing Saddles. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Check out my sports vlogging channel, Jordan's Vlogs. And until next time, this is Jordan saying you can be productive sitting at home in your couch. All you need is a TV, a great catalog, and a vision. This has been Jordan's Vision. Have a good one, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.